heartiest congratulations on the International Women's Day, March 2022. The theme of the International Women's Day of the year 2022 is to remove the bias. That is gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. Now, how can we do this? We can talk in terms of gender equality only if the female gender is healthier and more hearty than her male counterparts because she's the one who has to look after the family. She's the one who has to hold out on the home and hearth. We have more than one and a half lakh of new cervical cancer cases diagnosed in our country every year. And one woman loses her life every eight minutes to cervical cancer. Endometrial cancer or the uterine cancer is also rising very fast. More so in urban areas where obesity and diabetes have achieved absolutely epidemic proportions. And both these conditions, they contribute towards a rise in the endometrial cancer. Next, the ovarian cancer. No matter how much of research, how much of finance, how much of effort has gone into trying to reduce deaths from ovarian cancer, we are still at dismal rate of a 15 to 20 percent five year survival rate even after all these years, right from the time of 1960 when cisplatinum, that is the first platinum chemotherapeutic drug, was first discovered. So now, what can we do about all of this? First of all, we have to maintain our own health. Any change in variation in our natural habits and or a change in the habitat should immediately be reported to a doctor. If not a gynecologist, a family physician would do just as well. If you have somebody with cancer in your family, report that immediately. Don't be scared of familial cancers. 8th March every year, is observed as an International Women's Day. This day is dedicated to women, their interests and their causes and whatever that makes their life better. So in India, cervical cancer used to be the commonest cancer till about a five or six years back. But right now we have the breast cancer which is becoming the commonest cancer seen not only in the urban population but also in the rural population. But whatever it is, both the breast cancer and the cervical cancer, both of these are curable cancers if they are detected early. And also, most importantly, these two cancers can be prevented, especially cervical cancer, because we have a vaccine to it. So what do we do? So all women here, all ladies, so you must take care of yourselves. A healthy lifestyle is very, very important especially to prevent breast cancer. Breast cancer is a lifestyle disease. So you need to lead a very healthy lifestyle. That means leafy green vegetables, lot of liquid in your diet, lot of fluid in your diet, proper exercise, and of course, stress a free day and a stressless sleep. So uh, what we need to do is that we must understand these cancers and give ourselves a better lifestyle. On the occasion of International Women's Day, I would like to discuss something about, something very important about uh, breast cancer with you. Breast cancer is the number one cancer affecting women worldwide as well as in, an, in our country. Although there is no 100% preventive strategy for breast cancer, I would like to tell you that Early detection of breast cancer is a very important step towards a complete cure of breast cancer. And for that, it is very important for every woman of this world to know and to be aware about breast cancer. There are certain preventive strategies although, which includes a healthy lifestyle. That means that we have to have a proper nutritious diet, a regular physical activity, avoiding smoking, avoiding alcohol consumption on a prolonged basis, avoiding use of external hormones without a valid prescription of a uh, doctor and 
um, in case if there is any family history a very significant family history then it is important that you should get yourself regularly examined by a breast surgeon and get yourself screened if your age is over the age of 40 years so hamari aisa hai ki hum jo females hoti hain hum rozmarra ke kamon mein we are very busy so we tend to ignore our health issues and the family our children they are our priority so what i would like to convey to all my uh, female friends is that please don't ignore your health issues because you would be able to take care of your family in a better way only if you are fine if you are well so uske liye main aaj kuch basic si baatein karna chahungi jo hum sari females ko pata honi chahiye तो सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि मैं कैंसर इंस्टीट्यूट में काम करती हूँ तो मैं आप लोगों को कैंसर के बारे में जो फीमेल कैंसर्स कॉमन फीमेल कैंसर्स हैं उनके बारे में जागरूक करना चाहूँगी सो so, सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट जो हमारा डेवलपिंग uh, कंट्रीज में जैसे कि इंडिया है उसमें जो फीमेल गाइनी कैंसर सबसे कॉमन है सर्वाइकल कैंसर बच्चे दानी के मुँह को सर्विक्स कहते हैं और जब उसमें कैंसर चेंजेस आ जाते हैं तो उसे सर्वाइकल कैंसर कहते हैं अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज कि इट इज़ अ टोटली प्रिवेंटेबल कैंसर बहुत ही इजीली प्रिवेंट और ट्रीट किया जा सकता है एंड इट्स अ मेजर हेल्थ बर्डन एंड इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अ नंबर ऑफ आई मीन ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ कैंसर डेथ्स इन फीमेल्स इन इंडिया स्पेशली इन ऑल द डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज सर्वाइकल कैंसर इज कॉज बाय ह्यूमन पैपिलोमा वायरस हायरस टाइप्स एंड इट इज यूजली अ सेक्शुअली ट्रांसमिटेड इन्फेक्शन सो बिफोर द एज ऑफ थर्टी ईयर्स अबाउट एट्टी टू नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ सेक्शुअली एक्टिव फीमेल्स गेट दिस इन्फेक्शन बट मोस्टली 70-80 परसेंट फीमेल्स में ये इन्फेक्शन गेट्स क्योर्ड ऑन इट सेल्फ बाय द इम्यून सिस्टम सो इन सम पेशेंट सम फीमेल्स द इन्फेक्शन इज परसिस्टेंट फॉर मेनी ईयर्स एंड एंड स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ 10 टू 15 ईयर्स प्री कैंसर एंड देन कैंसर बन जाता है सो दिस 10 टू 15 ईयर्स इज अ वेरी गुड विंडो वेर वी कैन स्क्रीन द फीमेल्स फॉर दिस कैंसर एंड पॉसिबली डिटेक्ट एंड ट्रीट Pre cancer and cancerous changes in the cervix. So, how do we screen for this cancer? It's a very easy test, Pap smear. It is easily available in most of the healthcare settings and uh, facilities, and it's a very simple OPD procedure which does not require much at the part of the patient. So, this Pap smear is a very simple test, and it greatly it has been. I mean, a lot of studies have been done, and a uh, lot of literature is there on the role of Pap smear. and it greatly reduces the incidence of precancerous stages in the cervix and the cervical cancer and hence it decreases the mortality and also we have a vaccine available for this cancer so i told you it is a totally preventable cancer iske liye vaccine bhi available hai jo hum apni young bachchon ko ladkiyon ko lagwa sakte hain starting at the age of 9 years of age 9 to 12 years mein aapko apni betiyon ko apni behnon ko jo bhi hain unko isse vaccinate karna hai अराउंड 14 ईयर्स से पहले अगर आप वैक्सीनेशन शुरू कर देते हैं तो अराउंड टू डोजेज आर सफिशियंट बट आफ्टर 14 ईयर्स थ्री डोजेज आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड ऑल्सो ये जो वैक्सीन है द आइडियल टाइम इज बिफोर द ऑनसेट ऑफ सेक्शुअल एक्सपोजर सेक्शुअल डेब्यू से पहले ही देने का सबसे ज्यादा फायदा है बट अप टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर्स भी आप दे सकते हैं और अप टू फोर्टी फाइव भी आप दे सकते हैं लेकिन ऑफकोर्स वंस द सेक्शुअल डेब्यू हैज बिगिन देन बेनिफिट विल बी लेसर दो देर इज नो हार्म इफ देर इज नो इश्यू विद द अफोर्डेबिलिटी अगर कॉस्ट का कोई पेशेंट को इश्यू नहीं है तो दे कैन स्टिल टेक द वैक्सीन बट इतना बेनिफिट नहीं होगा जितना कि एक बच्ची जिसको अभी सेक्शुअल एक्सपोजर नहीं हुआ है उसको जितना फायदा होगा उतना फायदा नहीं होगा सो द आइडियल टाइम इज बिफोर द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द सेक्शुअल डेब्यू एंड आइडियली बिटवीन एज ऑफ नाइन टू ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ऑफ एज बिकॉज इस एज में अगर हम स्टार्ट करते हैं तो हमें लेसर डोजेज ऑफ वैक्सीन की जरूरत पड़ती है और इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स भी हमारा बेटर होता है सो कम्बाइंड विद वैक्सीनेशन एंड स्क्रीनिंग हम इस कैंसर का इंसिडेंस और मोर्टैलिटी बहुत कम कर सकते हैं